credits do you have by now? We are using our credits to pay our bills, food, transportation, gas, everything. How many credits you have by now? If you don't have enough credits, I will recommend you to get as many as a match as you can because we are using our credit card right and left, right and left because we don't have money to spend at all and inflation is real. It's hitting in our pocket. It's just hitting and hitting us like we need to go and make money but we don't know where to go to make that money. Don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the credit card if you have several credit card which you can withdraw money credit card where you can go and buy a grocery and then make sure those credit card has a minimum payment which is affordable so if you can keep paying your minimum payment for your credit card you are good to go and you can survive using your credit card that's why I recommend that get many credit cards as much as you can and for me i will not lie i have five credit cards which is now plus my two banks or three banks card those are almost seven and what i do is just mess with them play with them back and forth because if i don't have them i don't know how i could survive by now one i gas my car every week i gas my vehicle 60 bucks that's only for a week and i have to drive almost like each and every two hours i'm driving here and there to go do my work so you can imagine what work i do it's to just go there pick that client drop uber veil everything i can do to make money is how i can survive when i stop doing those then i do a door dash when i stop doing that i'm a healthcare worker when i stop doing that then i will go drive all the work which is possible like i will only have enough four to six hours to sleep so i can afford to pay my bills for you it just depends if you can do that or not but don't forget also like to subscribe because i'm gonna educate you if you have several many credit cards it's like when you pay this one then you go make money and pay this one when you have more money then go pay the other one make sure that also you have credit card where you can withdraw money if you are credit card you can you cannot withdraw money now you know that you can have a credit card whereby you can withdraw money how do you get those credit card you need to talk to your lender and you need to create a pin how do you create a pin like how you create a pin for your debit card how do you create a pin to go to your phone and and then you go to the ATM and withdraw money rather than to keep borrowing money and don't know what to do when you run out of money. You can have several credit cards. Nobody will tell you don't have credit cards so long as you pay the minimum. Always read your uh, on your app, you can see how much money you should pay when you spend your credit card. If you don't know how to do that, you can always call the bank. Don't forget to hit the like button. Also to subscribe to my channel, help my channel. If you want to buy a vehicle, do not let the dealership run your credit. Do you hear me? If you want to buy a car, do not go to the dealership and let the dealership run your credit because eventually they will not give you a loan. So what you need to do is go to the bank, credit unions, bank or any bank and ask if you can apply for a loan for the car. How many credit card do you have by now? By now, you should have more than five credit cards, either five or three. Because if you have less credit card and the debt to lease you is going to be high, what you're going to do? You can't transfer the money because you don't have so many credit cards to do. So what you need to do is to have different type of credit card so you will be able to pay the bills even though you run out of your money you are able to transfer money from your credit card to pay your bill let me teach you when you get fast credit card read in the statement does that card has a withdrawal if the credit card you can withdraw the money that is the best credit card you should have because you can withdraw that money to pay the rent or to pay your electricity or to pay your vehicle if the credit card you can now withdraw the money that's how you should learn to take more advantage of the credit card you receive brochures in the mail how do you know that you can qualify for a credit card you will know by if let's say for example 
if you receive a mail or an invitation or a brochure from the mail let's say for example american express or wherever which country you are there is so many banks we have bank of america we have uh, cit we have wells fargo we have mountain america we have desert school when you receive brochure from those people or from any lender open the brochure you will see all the information and that does not mean that you have qualified for the credit card so when you call talk about the brochure you have received because you want to get what you are sent on the mail not what they're gonna tell you let's say for example you don't have money to pay your credit card now and the time is running so you have to make sure you pay your credit card minimum what is your credit card minimum the minimum of a credit card is less than maybe i would say probably 15 to 25 or 75 and if you look the minimum payment or that you are due date it depends when you are getting paid with your employer because when you applied for the credit card the question they ask you when do you get paid okay so that's how we learn uh okay so if i don't get paid in this date i cannot pay my credit card so do, what do i do i should not use that credit card because i don't have money in my bank to pay now because you have different types of credit card you're gonna use the other one which is closer to your payment date so you can use your credit card to survive if you have many different type of credit cards and different pay date and different due payments and different minimum payment write that down so let's say for example with all those credit cards you can withdraw money so if you withdraw money for this credit card and you get paid by 15 then you pay the credit card then you have left money in your bank so you were surviving using the credit card and also don't forget when you have different type of payments or you have this debt and this debt and this debt and that debt the lenders they like to lend you money because you can pay all these things by yourself and in america we don't have to have money in the bank we don't have to own house i mean a lot of money or having a lot of uh, cars uh, lands or everything all you need to do is to learn how to pay the debts and to have a lot of debts and if you know how to use the debt to make the money and if you know how to make um, debts and then you pay them back that's the way you're gonna get more money from the lenders for example if I own a debt of half a million let's say for example and i am almost to pay almost to a hundred thousand dollars then i would say okay because i have this debt i'm gonna try to get more loans you can get a personal loan you can get another credit card you can get a line of credit so when you put all these things together they are cre creating a debt for you and that debt it's making you to go higher so for example in 2022 you have a million half a million debt by two years you should have almost 1.5 debt but remember the lenders they look also your debt to ratio the debt to ratio also depends how do you pay those bills how do you pay those debts how okay if though you have that debt, maybe probably for me, I will say you invest money in the stock, you buy houses, get your first credit card. Don't worry where you can get your first credit card. Your first credit card you can get from your friend, from your family, or from your mom, from your dad, from your sister, or from your any family member. They can put you to their credit card and they can watch how you are spending that credit card and they can put it out get away from you if you don't pay back they're gonna train you how to use the credit card before you get your own credit card second how you can get your own credit card you can go to the bank if you are have account then you can ask them you want to have a credit card with them when you get your first credit card they're gonna say you have to deposit like 500 up to 1000 and they will give you a credit card and that credit card you're gonna use it yourself 
they're gonna give you the day you have to pay back when you pay that credit card for around or not sure around six to three months you will be able to get your 1000 back only 500 which you have deposited to get a credit card and you get a credit card with the money from the bank or from the lender who is willing to give you a credit card do you understand where you can get your first credit card is from the bank from your family from your cousin from your friend or people who are trying or want to help you to start your own credit card or to build your score remember if you don't have any debt in America, nobody knows you. You have to create a lot of debt, a lot of debt, so that people can see you know how to pay them. If you don't have a debt, then nobody gonna know how do you gonna pay me back if I give you this money. They wanna see that you are responsible for everything you own or what you have get from them, lenders. Don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to help my channel to grow, to educate you about the money credit card if you do have a credit card like this moment well we have the inflation and inflation is real you are using your debit or you are saving remember the money you have kept in the bank or how much you are spending every day that money has no value if you are spending fifty dollars for the food for two weeks now you spend that money for two days if you use your credit card, you don't feel much pain because you will wait until you have the due date so you can pay the credit card. But if you know that you're gonna keep using the credit card, don't pay that only whole credit card. Just pay the minimum. When you pay your minimum, you are building your credit and also you are saving money. If you are planning to buy a house or to buy other things using your credit card, Remember, you have to pay them little by little. By the time you are deciding what you're gonna buy, you have to pay all your credit card because the lenders does not want to see you with a lot of debt of credit card. Remember, all the debts you have, they are calculated when you want to buy a house, a car, anything you wanna buy, they will put that as debt to lay you. You don't wanna do that. Don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to help my channel to grow. Because every day, the dollar you earn, the lesser it goes. And for you to be able to be financially stable, you need to earn more and spend less. And how do you do that? By not spending your money. When you finish your shift, go home. Buy food which you can cook at your home. Stop buying food on your way home. Stop going to the store and buy unnecessary things. Stop stopping to the store and buy food which are ready to eat. Buy cans of beans, cans of everything, and then you just need to warm it up when you need to eat. Remember, even you are at home, the gas, the, the, the AC, the electricity, all those are bills you are creating. Remember, for every dollar you earn, it's not coming at, as two dollars. It's always come back as one and a half. So don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to educate you or to teach you more about the money. Remember, when you are young, you need to go to learn more about the money. When we go to school, the teacher teach us about how to write ABC and also teach us how to mentor us, to write the checks, to write everything. But they never say that when you have money, they you want to save the money. Remember, they teach you about even money. What is the what is penny? What is a, a, every coin? You were taught what is the name of each coin. But they never say, when you have these two coins, spend one and don't spend the other one. Remember, this is your, your mind or your family or your partner or everybody to remember how to spend the money, how they get it. If you get your money easily, the easy is for you to spend it. It's very easy. I want to live in the United States. Do you need to have a credit card? I have so many people ask me about that question. If you live in the United States, you need to have a credit card. Because you are new, you need to have a social or a work permit in order for you to open a bank. When you have those two things, you can also apply for a credit card. If you moved into United States with a green card, you can go immediately to the bank and apply for a credit card. How do you get your first credit card? If you just move it in and you don't know how to get the first credit card, 
First thing now, you need to get a job after you get your social or if you have a work permit. When you get those things, you can go to the bank and open a you can open account and then you deposit some money so you can have your first credit card. How about if you just moved in and you have a family who already lived here before you moved in? They can add you to their credit card and you can have your credit card and use it and pay back. How you pay back? You need to pay their credit card. All you need to give them money, all you need to go to deposit the money in the bank so they can pay the money you have used. By then, you are learning how to use a credit card. Eventually, you will be able to build the score which you need to have your own credit card. If you want to have your own credit card, you cannot do that because in the United States, you have to work and you have to have a social and you need to have a work permit to show that you are working and that's where you are getting your money to pay for your bills. Don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to educate you more about United States with the money and the your credit card and how you build your wealth. After you build your wealth here in the United States, you are able to get everything you need. So long as you pay your bills on time, you work, you have social, you have accumulated enough points in order for you to buy a house, in order for you to buy a, a car, or you need to buy a motorbike, or you need to buy an RV, or a cycle, whatever you want to do. In the United States, the first thing is to build your credit score. Credit score is different when it comes to credit card. Credit card is the money which is in the form of a plastic, but it's money which is lended to you by the bank. That's not the cash. That's not the debit card you have every day. That's a money which you can borrow and pay it back with a very high interest. Don't forget that. That's where the trick is between a credit card and a debit card. How do you use the debit card? The debit card has always your money which you have worked for. So even though the money runs out, you just get a mail or the bill which it, it will not process because you don't have enough money to pay. But when it comes to the credit card, you are able to use it because eventually it's money piled for you to pay back after you have used the credit card. Don't forget also to click the bright button and also to subscribe.